using weld connection sets. In this first task, we're going to assemble the piston subassembly using the weld connection set. We're going to turn on the coordinate system datums. Up in the ribbon, we're going to select the assemble icon and click on the weld piston assembly and say open. In the component placement area, we're going to take user to find and select weld. We're going to select the coordinate system for top weld reference from here and select both of them. In the component placement dashboard, we're going to open up the placement tab and say new set. We're now going to select the bottom weld coordinate system on both parts. And then we're going to complete the component placement by hitting the green check mark. The motion defined in the piston subassembly enables it to expand and span the length of the bracket. In this next task, we're going to verify the connections. We're going to first turn off our coordinate system datums. And using the drag component icon, we're going to select weld piston assembly and notice that it doesn't move. We'll close the drag assembly. There was no movement in the weld piston assembly because each end of the piston is fixed with a weld connection set. Coming back over to the model tree, we're going to click on settings, tree filters, and turn on the features and then say OK. We're going to expand the weld bracket, choose extrude 1, right mouse click, and we're going to edit the value of the bracket. We're going to take the 1500 value and make this 1600. And then regenerate the assembly. The motion, defining the piston subassembly, enables it to expand as the bracket changes. Selecting extrude one again, right mouse click and say edit. We're going to take the 1600 value this time and change it to 1300. And again, choosing the regenerate icon. The motion defined in the piston subassembly enables it to compress as the bracket changes as well. This completes this demonstration.